you get four or five new guys that would I just a wow. Like in awe of what he's doing. Everybody figures them out eventually though. Right. And, oh yeah. Top water? Top water. This was a few days before the actual tournament. We came up here to Pyramid Lake to see what the water was like. It had been a while since we've actually been on the water up here, so this was a chance to kind of get a feel for what the lake looked like, where the fish were at, what they're going to eat. So it was important to get out there the week before the tournament. This was going to be the last tournament of the year, and it had been a while since we'd seen Pyramid Lake. Don't go jump around when I'm pulling trouble out of your mouth. This would have been so much less painful for him if he didn't. That wasn't a frog. Oh. It was a uh, top water. Okay. The frog was just in case we saw mats and stuff. Like, right. you know what I mean? I thought, okay, if it's gooey. I'm not stupid, dude. I see you get one right like that and that hit. <laughs> oh, oh, there he goes. Nice. That water's clear. You can see yeah. him running everywhere. See, look at that tight. See, I put on a, a bait. Oh, it's a striper. Trippy. <laughs> get a small. Get a small in it. Yeah. Early morning try back. Buddy. Snap my line. That was funny. World's smallest striper. It's all right though. We need to get one of these real ones to take it. We well, you know there's fish in here. Instinct is to come up and say, Oh, oh yeah, no, that's that different. That's, a one. that's different. Is that a striper? I don't know. I might have a side hook because he's going nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a striper. Ready? That was pretty violent. That was a, a yeah. Oh, striper. gosh. Look at him. Wow, what a racehorse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty aggressive. <laughs> that was cool. Leave you there. Oh, careful, yeah. careful. I know. Can't reach for it until. Yeah, until he's calmed down. Okay. Yeah, they can do some damage to you. That was fun, just the that way was, he hit it. That was awesome. I was kind of like, ooh! I made my noise when I get hit on your fish. You can't beat that, dude. No. You just can't. Even when they're not big old fish. I figured he had to be a striper by how aggro he went there at the end. just kind of moving in. Yeah, you catch a four pounder right now though, you're really gonna bum yourself out for Saturday. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'll take it. There we go. Whoa! It's not big, but it Whatever, was that was awesome. That was a good hit. He's actually a better fish. Once no, again, not. too. <laughs> Once again, though, that white. Yeah. Tell me that's not the best top water you, most consistent top water you've ever had. By far. Oh, there you go. Oh! I got hit, it came off. Come on, curly tail, I need some confidence. Is that the ribbon tail? Is that? Is that your ribbon tail one? It is. That's a, dude, if that, you, if they don't, don't bite this, they're I'm not done. biting. That's your best worm. It is, and I haven't thrown it yet. I haven't thrown it forever, actually. The bite's been so slow, it can't, it can't stick. You know how good this worm is? First cast big fish. You need that? Yeah. All right. It's a big fish. First cast on the ribbon tail, Darren. Go figure. And it's a keeper. We're like, oh, that's your best worm. Yeah, I haven't. I don't fish it. I don't fish. It's your best worm. You cut your biggest fish always. That's a good one. Dude. It took me a while to realize that uh, it was time to throw the R tail worm, the ribbon tail worm that I pour. It's been my best bait. It consistently catches big fish. I haven't thrown it in a while. Um, the bite's been really tough up there, so I've been throwing smaller baits. But as soon as I went to the R tail worm, got a nice fish. Here is the ribbon tail worm. <laughs> this is the magic crawler color. And that is the color I've been using up there and really doing well. Uh, it's been my best pyramid bait. Don't know why it took me so long to throw it. What's wrong with me? I don't know. That's stupid. I'm all like, that's your best worm. You're like, oh yeah. 
Well, and last time I fished it up here, so that day I got like 14 pounds on five fish. He wasn't coming loose. That's deep in that. All right, are we ready to go? Let's blast them. Boat number one. Come on, one, keep going. tournament day. Um, we pre-fished a little earlier this week and did pretty well. So feeling pretty confident going out there. Uh, it's the last tournament of the year. This is the tournament that will determine the angler of the year for the ZLF Bass Federation. So I was, I was excited about it. We had pretty high hopes for the day. Largemouth, it's a keeper. Yeah, it's good. Always been right on that point. I broke a guide on my top water rod, so unfortunately, I started the day throwing top waters on spinning gear, which is not something I usually do. It's a different action, I'm not real comfortable with it. But right off the bat, I hooked into a good fish, got excited. It was the first five minutes of the tournament. Problem was, it was a big striper. A few minutes later, I did hook into a really nice largemouth bass. Unfortunately, it shook loose pretty close to the boat. It's tough when you lose a nice fish early. And the fishing's been so tough up at Pyramid Lake, I knew that was gonna be one that I'd regret later. So it, it was a little bit tough to start out the day, but we did find them eventually. Ah, these stripers are gonna be a pain when you grab them out of there. Okay. You killed it. It's fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun catch. Yeah. Feel bad he decided to impale himself. You have to go see a doctor and get stitches for that that wound. This was the first of her keeper bass. He barely went, just right on the line at 13 inches. The good news is we were able to cull him out of the boat later in the day. Um, but it was exciting to finally get our first uh, keeper bass. We got our first keeper bass about three hours into the day. So it was a relief to finally catch a keeper, but it was even a, more of a relief to be able to throw him out of the boat a little later in the day. He's close. Thank goodness we're at Pyramid, not Castaic. What? Yeah, really. At least they're interested. Law yeah. of averages. That's what I figured. We caught a lot of fish in the last half hour. You got one? 
This fish here came on the uh, our tail worm again on the Magic Crawler color, my number one, number one go-to bait, and it turned out to be the second biggest bass of the tournament. We ended up finishing this tournament in first place. We won, and we won it by over three pounds. So it was a real solid day for us. Uh, just came up a little bit short for Angler of the Year. Finished in second place this year, but it was real nice to win the last tournament of the year. All right, now. 